What's up guys? We're here at uh, Unit 4. We actually have a nil guy kind of somewhere back there walking. We're actually scouting right now. And uh, me and, uh, sorry about that, me and my friend Faustino are going to be here tomorrow. We're in Unit 4. We're walking around scouting and we, we saw this big old bull. He's about three, four hundred yards away. Hopefully that's a precursor of what's supposed to come this next couple days. So I went to unit one a little early, didn't see too much, but I saw a lot of tracks around here, but it's really open. And then the, the spots where there's brush, it's really, really thick. So uh, we're expecting a little bit of rain tomorrow. So we'll see what happens, guys. Wish us luck. You know, it's on my bucket list to get a nil guy. So hopefully we'll, hopefully we won't come back home empty handed guys. So we'll keep you updated. What is up, everybody? So we're at uh, Adolph Tomei County Park once again. We're today's day one, is actually of our uh, of our refuge hunt, and I'm going to be hunting Unit Four. Um, I have Faustino right behind me. He's getting his solo skiff ready. I already have mine at the dock, and uh, we had a little cold front that came in last night. Right now it's about 55, 60 degrees. I'm not too sure, but it's kind of chilly. So hopefully, it gets the animals moving. We're going to see what happens today. So don't go away. Finally on our way. Alrighty guys, so here's the situation where I was originally planning to go there was already a couple hunters in that area, so I had to turn back around. I didn't want to bother them, and I could have crossed in front of them, but like the way it was, there was a tree line where they were at, and uh, water on the other side, so I couldn't, you know, pass them without having to go in front of them. So I turned back around. So I kind of came out to an open area that has like sand dunes, like in a line. Yesterday I saw that big nil guy, and then this morning I saw another younger bull crossing through here also. So what I'm going to try to do is, at least the plan is, is to kind of just uh, sit tight and um, kind of just basically glass and try to intercept wherever the, the, the nil guy might be coming. So it might work, it might not. I mean, it is the first day, so it's still early in the, still early in the hunt. But, so we'll see if this... If this plan works out, and if not, we'll change it up. So, see you in a little bit, guys. Yeah, guys, so the plan that I had somewhat worked. Um, I know that there's a lot of Nilgai that are passing by. I could see a lot of their tracks. Um, so basically what happened right now, I was here hunkered down right after I kind of did that a little initial update. And some Nilgai came right behind me. Kind of like in that, there's a berm, well, uh, like a sand dune that runs straight across all the way that way. And there's this little opening right here. And so they were coming right behind it and they kind of came over it. So by the time I saw them, they had already seen me and they kind of ran. But I know that they're passing through here. But it just shows that my plan might work. If I see them coming from that way, I'm going to get on this side. And kind of, they're going to have to more than likely pass through here. It's about, from this area right here to the other side of that berm, it's about 80 yards. So, it's within bow range, for at least for me. So, I'm still going to stick here. The, the little group of new guy went that way. I can still see them, but they're still running away now, so hopefully it'll start working again, my little plan. I'm just going to sit tight here and wait for them to pass by. So.
see. Didn't see much yesterday, so we're gonna see what happens today. I'm gonna head in there. I'm gonna head pretty deep in there today. I already saw a couple hunters already a little bit down down there. And so hopefully we'll connect with something today. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. minutes to get within bow range. Unfortunately I pressed the wrong button on my GoPro and ended up doing a time lapse instead of doing a video. I shot the first pig in the gut and then they huddled together in tall grass. Here's where I shoot another pig in the lungs and followed up with a hard shot. Guess he can follow the blood trail in the water too. Big ol' sow. Man, dude, she's big. <laughs> All right, so got this sow behind me. There's still another pig that I shot that I kind of gut shot on the first one. She's still there, right there, the little black spot right in the middle of the screen. So I'm gonna go try to dispatch her one more time. The thing is, I forgot my my rangefinder, so I knew when I when I realized that I forgot it, I was like, dude, something's gonna pop out or I present a shot. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to guess with my <laughs> with my yardage abilities, I guess. But I was pretty much right on there. I was at 20, 25 yards and 30 yards. I did a couple follow up shot follow up shots. Yeah, so I'm gonna go try to finish that hog off. I'm gonna try to stink up and see if I can get it in the vitals. Um, I lost 
two arrows have no idea where they went. They're somewhere in this marsh. I was able to find two of them. So let me go see if I can dispatch this, this other hog right there. Well, got it right in the head, so. Alrighty guys, so that's uh, we're on day three of my Luguna hunt and I got two hogs. They were actually in this uh, field. I can see actually no guy running right now. Well, it's a buck actually. Give me one second. Let's see if I can get him on camera for you. guys so let's try this again so as you can see there's there's a pretty good amount of animals um, actually while I was getting these pigs there was a nil guy that passed this way two uh, two cows that came this way and I just saw a buck as I'm doing this little interview thing right now so got these two pigs I'm gonna start quartering them right now or quartering them right now and, and pack them out so it's day three we still got a couple more days I think I might take tomorrow off because I'm already tired dragging these things out in that marsh was was a bit of a workout so I'll get started on these and I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm almost back to where I launched, uh, where I docked my boat across the Arroyo and man am I tired. So one of the things you have to understand whenever you go public land hunting, at least here in the refuges in South Texas, is that if you go and you shoot something three miles in, you got to drag it out three miles back. And so you might go in just carrying your bow in your backpack. But then if you're like me and you shot two pigs, you got to bring back all that meat on top of your back. So I got here like at, <clears throat> I think it was, I don't know, like six o'clock in the morning. It is now 2 p.m. All I've had was water and protein bar. So I uh, finished my water uh, back, <clears throat> back when I was packing out the pigs. So. That's one of the things you got to think about, guys, whenever you're hunting out here is that make sure you, you know, bring water and be prepared because as most, you know, survivors know is that another nature is not, it's very beautiful, but can be very, very mean sometimes too. So be safe out there, guys. Be prepared. All right. I'll see you all in a little bit.
Although these refuge hunts are challenging, I had an absolute amazing time on this hunt. I got to see some incredible scenery and see what God has created. Had a successful hunt. Made some lifelong memories with a good friend of mine. I got to walk on land that is rarely touched by man. See gorgeous sunsets. Got to watch the world go to sleep. It's funny how much you learn about yourself on these type of hunts. Challenging, frustrating, and yet rewarding. And although I didn't get the Nilgai that I wanted, I will be back to accomplish my goal of taking one of them someday. Until next time, I'll catch you in the water, or I'll see you in the brush.